Welcome back, Lanthimos. After the surprising detour with poor things, Lanthimos returns to his impenetrable magical circle of cinema with kinds of kindness. From the broken racket of McEnroe in 1984 to Ayrton Senna's helmet, suggested but not shown, the Greek director's work resembles an archaeological artifact where the bodies of characters slash actors are dissected like specimens in a morgue. This new piece explores three different facets of kindness across as many acts. In the death of RMF, Robert attempts to take control of his life, which has always been managed and organized by his employer Raymond, even in his personal affairs, in exchange for numerous benefits. Once he refuses to fulfill one of Raymond's requests, his world starts to collapse. RMF is flying, follows a policeman who believes that his wife, who survived being lost at sea, is an imposter attempting to deceive him. In the third act, RMF eats a sandwich, two cult members search for a young woman with special powers to become their spiritual leader. These three acts, with the same actors rotating like puppets, Emma Stone, Jesse Plemons, Willem Dafoe, Margaret Qualley, Hong Chow, Mamudu Afi, and Joe Alwyn, exhibit Lanthimo's trademark cynical and provocative style. With the dazzling fantasy slash melodrama of poor things. Set aside, Lanthimos reverts to his sarcastic and ostentatious cinema. Every frame exudes his obsession with control, where his presence dominates from the depth of field to the actor's close-ups, turning them into heartless monsters. Echoes of Cronenberg in the simulated accident at the first episode, Disney variations with Emma Stone's speeding car resembling a parodic version of Herbie, and the self-indulgent nature of Kinds of Kindness trap its characters and stories in a confined labyrinth, reminiscent of the isolated children in Dogtooth. This regression into a more inaccessible and unbearable cinema is linked to Lanthimo's reunion with his screenwriter, F. Thymus Philippou, who distorted the essence of tragedy in the killing of a sacred deer and the forced pairings in the lobster, narratives that shape the three stories and kinds of kindness. Clement's portrayal of a delusional policeman becomes a manifestation of cinematic omnipotence, believing it can penetrate the psyche of its characters, dissecting them without empathy, much like Emma Stone's shoebox left on the bed in the third episode. Opening with Sweet Dreams, are made of this, by Eurythmics, the Sweet Dreams of Lanthimo cinema lack substance and remain confined to the opening titles. Food, sex, death, and blood are mere set details in a cinema that uses bodies as decor, plunging into an empty pool in the third act. For Lanthimo's enthusiasts, it's another grand visual essay, replete with playful techniques by cinematographer Robbie Ryan, blending past and dreams in black and white. Yet, Kinds of Kindness feels lifeless and buried under nearly three hours of runtime, making it insufferable. Kinds of Kindness marks Yorgos Lanthimo's debut as an undisputed superstar, following his Golden Lion win at Venice and an Oscar night triumph with Poor Things, cementing his reputation beyond the cinephile niche. However, this film does not follow the artistic trajectory of the favorite and the adventure of Bella Baxter. Despite being shot during the post-production of Four Things, it represents a return to the cold, calculated style that defined his career a decade ago. This step back is not surprising, Lanthimos has always aligned his aesthetic to the style of writing his films are based on. His career outside Greece can be divided into two distinct cinematic visions. The Lobster and the Killing of a Sacred Deer, both written by Athimus Philippou, expand on his initial cinematic approach, whereas The Favorite and Poor Things, written by Tony McNamara, deviate significantly, offering characters full of life and energy against a sadistic system. Kinds of Kindness straddles these two styles, Philippou's screenplay reinstates Lanthimo's position as a sadistic, cynical observer, emotionally detached while chronicling his character's self-destructive spirals. Emma Stone's presence injects a vitality reminiscent of Lanthimo's more recent phase. The film, aesthetically devoid of the elements that distorted his previous worlds, features characters dancing on screen and pursuing a perverse version of happiness. Developed across three episodes, plus an epilogue, Kinds of Kindness tackles power, submission, and manipulation through work, love, and faith, recurring themes in Lanthimo's cinema. The ensemble cast, including Emma Stone, Willem Dafoe, Jesse Clemens, and Margaret Qualley, plays different roles, navigating a twisted system in pursuit of self-fulfillment. 
The narrative structure of each episode is similar, adding little to what Lanthimos and Philippou have explored before. The film's core lies in its multiplicity of perspectives on death, endings, and power. Lanthimos' provocative style effectively examines workplace dominance and toxic relationships, but feels gratuitous and less precise when addressing faith. By the end of the final episode, Lanthimos imposes himself directly with a near-divine intervention, playfully disrupting the narrative, reaffirming his role as the puppet master over his characters and the audience. This directorial omnipotence challenges viewers to decide whether to believe in this godlike figure 